Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to add SSIs DB um, into always on. Okay, before going to that, I want to know you one thing. So, in I am having node 1 and node 2. In both systems, in, in both nodes, the integration services has to be run. Okay, then only, I mean, the integration service has to be get installed. Otherwise, you cannot add the SSIS DB in secondary replica. Right now, I have installed SSI integration services in both nodes. Okay, so if you don't install in node 2, so you can add the database, but the, in the, the SSDB cannot join in the node 2. Okay, I will show you right now. So before one thing I want to know you is so the database master key and symmetry service master key has to be same. Okay, in the primary replica and secondary replica. So uh, you should consider this point. For example, if it is uh, new, okay, I will prefer uh, that both symmetric keys are way. If you have other symmetric keys, you will may face uh, issues uh, while executing packages on node uh, two as well. So, so but uh, be precaution. For example, I cannot directly restore that uh, node one service master key with the node to service why because maybe uh, using that service master key will have if uh, other other uh, credentials issues or another it was encrypted by another one so we have that kind of if we don't use that service master key or any credentials or anything then i will recommend i will can recommend you that the service master key in node 1 has to be copied backup and has to be restored and in the node 2 so one thing only uh, what i need to say is homogeneous the settings and configuration keys has to be same in the uh, other rep secondary replicas as well okay so right now i am taking in the full screen mode here so done so right uh, this is node one which is a primary if you want to see here you can see here uh, test test uh, okay so right now i'm having two databases right now i'm enabling the catalog so here enable this catalog here uh, type the password on okay click okay yeah i have created ssdb into integration services now i want to add this into availability groups right click on this new group wizard okay uh, click next uh, which is the sss right sss and naming like this okay next uh, select the password here and give the password click refresh select the sss db okay click next so automatic replicas no select no to replica next i am selecting automatic mode uh, so if you have already taken the full backup that backup path should be accessible to the node 2 then only it can join other so i will recommend to to take the shared location okay if you want to take the full backup okay so this one skipped and this is the warning here you need to enable always on support and integration catalogs after adding ssdb into always on availability groups so click ok click next finish yeah wizard done successfully click close so it was done okay now uh, select node one click uh, node one yes one done so right now this click always enable always on support click node connect click ok yeah it was support was enabled uh, now go and check uh, ssdb was synchronized here now go and check failover. So enable always on failover. So right click on this, click failover. Next, 
next next so what whenever we do anything we need to perform failover and fail back to test the things yeah it was done successfully again i am doing failover back to node 1 click next next finish see failover failover was done see as of now whatever we did so everything went successful uh, so this is how you need to add SSS DB uh, into always on availability groups. I hope me, you may like this video. Please do comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.